Hey there, it's Strutter, May the 3rd, 2011. Um, just going to do some silver porn outside here, some things I picked up today. This is a 1967 proof-like Indian mint set with the centennial versions of all the coins. This is the uh, goose dollar, the timber wolf half dollar, the, I believe it's a cougar quarter, a hare nickel, um, is that a pike or a mackerel? I can't remember, dime, and the peace dove scent. The good old queen. Um, this I got for the silver content, which is um, always nice to get. Um, he charged me for the dollar, the 50 cents, and the 25 cents, so I got the silver dime, the nickel nickel, and the copper penny. These are all um, actual, you know, real, real money, metal. Um, pick up this one. Three troy ounces, 999 plus, fine. And there is a NCM here, and a, a sort of a, a hexagon or something, a polygon. And that would be uh, North Carolina, if I'm not mistaken. I should have looked that up before. But, uh, nice little three ounce loaf style poured bar. It's probably about 50 years old. They don't do these anymore, as far as I'm aware. Um, really like those. It's a really nice looking piece. Here is a 1939 Canadian silver dollar. I picked that up for the metal value because um, there were quite a few minted that year. But it's a sort of a special edition, you know, it's not the, the normal uh, Voyager design. Voyager design, it's the, um, the Canadian uh, Parliament building. And that's George VI. But um, there were a bunch made that year, so you can find these still. Um, certain coin shops, at least here in Canada, I know that anyways. And when I find those at metal value, I'll pick it up, because, you know, 80-year-old piece of silver. And uh, lastly, I wanted to show you this one. It's in 1935. That's the first year they made a silver dollar in Canada. It was widely talked about all through the 20s, and they only finally got around to it in 1935. So this is the first year it was ever made. There's a few pieces of dirt on here, but overall it's a, it's a very nice looking coin. And I think they made a lot of these the first year, which is why I was able to pick this up for 23 bucks, uh, which is the just the silver content alone. Um, it, it probably has some collector's value, being the, the first ever and being so old. And there's George V on the back there. It's got a decent sized scratch down there. You can probably see it. but. Uh, I'm not complaining. That's a nice coin. Keep stacking the physical stuff, guys.